Welcome to my sixth episode, together with Tango. He's actually just here for the intro, but I can put it in the title this way. Meanwhile, Tango is just taking a look around the village. Hope he likes it. Tango is gone now, and it means it's time to show you what we've done during the livestream. We worked on the wood farm and we completely renewed it. And here is the result. The only thing I'm still changing is I'm changing how the saplings are placed. They were all the same, but if you then remove one tree, the tree next to it is still stuck to it. And that means the leaves don't despawn. So now make sure all the little neighbors are different. That takes a while though. Um, so let's get more lumberjacks. So we have two netwits who have been walking around the village for a while now. So it's time to become a lumberjack. Oh, I hadn't seen the mill skin yet for the lumberjack. It looks amazing. Okay, this one took me a while to find. We were running out of food. But now you're also a lumberjack. And you start at level 19. That's pretty great. I've changed up all the saplings, but that does mean that well, most of the trees are gone now. So, let me get some bone meal. I didn't have a lot of bone meal, but this looks a lot better. I also just really like the change. I think it looks better than just having the same trees everywhere. Thank you, guard. Unfortunately, the dirt's still here, but I'm getting those tomorrow, likely. I'm getting more sea lanterns. Now let's continue with what we're actually going to do this episode. What we're going to do is we're going to move this library over here without a roof. And we're going to expand it a little bit, but we are not going to change the interior yet. We'll do that later. And then about here, there will be a school. It will also be one block higher, so it's the same height as the tree farms. And it will be just a combined building. Just like that one, basically. That also means that there will be apartments on top. There will be 14 villages. Well, room for 14 villages. That one is 8, so that's quite the upgrade. I've moved the library. And that means I can now break down this building. Um, however, I don't have silk touch, so unfortunately the windows will have to go. And I don't have a lot of sand. That's a little bit sad. Now I just need to make this a little bit more pretty. And now we have a school building. We obviously need some chairs in here. So let's do that. Now I've added the chairs and the table in here. The teacher can stand over here, but I think I need to move the door over here. I think that would look better. And then we have a beautiful little school. It's time. You're gonna do some work. First, let me go to an empty bed. Oh wait. We don't have empty beds. <laughs> oh no, yeah, maybe I need to finish the building first. Or I can just put a bed somewhere. I've done it again. But this time it's locally a nice attachment to another building. There we go. A beautiful house for a child. Hello, rough fum. Why another rough? I couldn't say that last episode. And that means the teacher can finally get to work in our beautiful school. So, 
now we're just waiting for the kid to show up. And the teacher. I see you there. Come to school. Yeah, school. Or is it already too late? It's probably too late. Well, see you next school day. And the first day of school has started. Teacher, shouldn't you learn the kid to not walk on tables? Like, that's kind of rude. Now, the teacher doesn't have any books yet, so he kind of needs those to teach better, but this will, well, he's already a level 2 teacher. This will work fine. We have some room here for a school board, and I looked in creative, of course somewhere else because I don't have creative here, for blocks. And green terracotta would look really well. There we go, it looks much better. Looking more like a school now. Now the next course of action is of course making the apartments upstairs. Then afterwards um, we also need to extend the library. It will be, this wall will be removed and the library will be made bigger. But I'm going to do that later because the apartments have higher purity. Because well, that means more villagers. More villagers are good. I have to say though, I really like the style that you can just walk through here. And this isn't really the spot to do it, because well, the library needs to be bigger. But I think maybe one day I'm going to move the blacksmith a little bit. And I hear a heart. Because then we can continue our road here. And we can probably build a tavern right here. I think that would fit well. Now let's find the heart. Oh, must be in the other room. There we go. Oh, I don't have any room in my inventory. But, um, thank you. What are you called? Hugh Ratley. Thank you for the heart. I'm really happy that the hearts don't despawn. It makes it so much easier. I'm noticing that I'm getting quite efficient at building these. It's always the same pattern, and I really love the pattern. And this is also the time to talk about the reset. The reset will happen... Well, there will be a reset of this world. And it will happen pretty soon actually. After this, it will be about 5 days after this episode goes out. But we are going to continue playing. I'm going to continue playing this, um, this city in a single player world for a while. And then after the... Um, after I'm done with the city, I'm just going to go back to the server. So there will be some little time where I'll be alone. Just all alone. With my thoughts. I really can't wait until I've replaced this dirt with sea lanterns. Also, I really like the look of... When I haven't done anything yet, but you see the skeleton of the building. I love those little details. I wanted to show you the beautiful roof that's all finished, but there is one spot that I missed. Give me a moment. Um, I don't know how to explain this. Now the other one is wrong. Now it's all done. Beautiful. Now I've noticed something else. And that is if you look on the side. There is a row of locks. There is a row of locks. Now if I look at the other building. It only has one row of locks. So at least this building is fine now. We're just. We're just going to fix the other building. And we have nomads today. We have one. 14 intelligence and. 8 ranger. Oh I shouldn't destroy that. And a 15 level druid. Now. There is a problem though, and that is we have a school now. And we have kids, which are more useful than nomads. Because this little guy has 31 intelligence already. And that means if we give him a druid token, he gets the level, druid level, between half of this and full of this. So between 15 and 31. So, nomads are now 
not useful anymore at this stage. It looks like our cat grew up, which means we need to give him a profession token and give the teacher another kid to teach. Unfortunately, this will still be in this bathroom. Oh, they both claimed. Where's an unclaimed pet? There we go. Peach Dali Carlia. What a name. Way too fancy for this village. Okay, I've had a look around on the village and we are going with an enchanter. I actually didn't want to do that in this episode yet, but we'll have to. I think it's the best way to expand currently. Where is our netwit? In the library, probably. Let's make sure we have the thingy. There we go. Oh, I love that skin. That's amazing. Um, but that does mean we now have to work on the library. And we also still have to place bats there. That will fit 12 villages here. Um, 6 in this room, 6 in that room. And later we can fit 2 more in here if you build a wall here. And just a little door here. All the bats are currently taken, so that means... 2 bats will immediately be taken once I take down the little hut which is behind that building. That means we'll have 8 bats left and the possibility to expand to 10 bats left. That's pretty decent. Oh, I should place those on the other side. If I ever want to build a wall there. And they should work. Work. Oh, it is working. <laughs> and I've done the other one. So we can now continue with a proper library. Are you just reading instead of working? I was wondering where the sound was coming from. But look at this. The floating is absolutely amazing. And I love the sounds. It's the... It's certainly something. I'm a bit ashamed. You know how sometimes you just completely go crazy and you finish something at once? Without recording nice parts for you guys. I did that. Welcome to the new library. And there's a restart in 30 seconds. But this is the new library. A nice enchanting table with all the bookcases you need. More bookcases. And a nice seating area. For some reason they're not using it though. Yeah, yeah, restarting. Now you think this little hut, which I'm going to destroy now, is really crappy. But the villagers disagree. They think it's great. They even have a heart there. But now it's gone. Uh, shall I remove it? I'll just remove it. Hopefully, I'll never need a random hut again. Hopefully. I can dream. Now we've been doing a lot this episode and we're just going to continue that. I'm going to get the structure markers for the pig and chicken pan ready. Okay, here we go. We'll put the piggies here. And the chickens here. Now I have no idea if this pigs or chickens close. I don't see them. No pickies. Also no pickies. Are you a picky? No. I also don't think you're a picky. You're clearly a picky. 
I'll take you with me. There we go, just me and my piggies. Just going on an adventure. There we go. It's a little bit weird that the big pan has got the chicken coop. Okay, that was a really long search, but I finally found some chickens. After finding the piggies. There's one problem though. I have no idea how to get back to my village. So I'm just guessing. Come on. I found a sign of my village. M I'm more far away than I expected to be. And this is kind of a big mountain. Oh no. Please stay okay. Okay, everyone just jump once. There we go. We're all safe. What a cute little family. We're almost there. Pretty sure this is also the place where I got my cows. Okay, some of the biggies escaped because I didn't close this off. So I added some extra fences. No. Now, this piggy still needs to be... I misspoke. This is clearly a chicken. Okay, I'll stop the joke. This piggy <laughs> still needs to put it, be put in the pan, but I'm sure the ranchers will take care of that. I have two ranchers, and I hope they can deal with this amount. But maybe I need another rancher? I think it can't hurt. <laughs> it's magical floating sheep. Magical floating sheep. Magical, 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 magical floating sheep. Um, so this sheep is attached to a lead by a butcher. He just forgot to let go. It's almost like a pet now. And... Magical floating sheep. It's magical floating sheep. <laughs> so Zeta from the Hermitcraft server has a game that's called Is that sheep looking at me? So Let me just take a moment The sheep is looking at me I won At that moment it was looking at me Okay, let's, let's try again Let's take a brief We can do this, we can do this I don't think the sheep is looking at me. It's not. See? I'm a master of this game. Thank you very much. This was it for this episode. Next week there will likely not be a stream. Um, I'll be recording in advance to have an episode done before the reset happens. Um, so I'll have an episode next week. Because I don't know when Tango will give us the world files. That could take a while. They're likely pretty big. I mean, well, for the end screen, I'm just going to show you the school. Enjoy.